Hey there, John Morris here. I'm a developer here at Wishlist Products and I'll blog over at johnmorrisonline.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to update data for a membership level using the Wishlist member API. And of course, as always, I'm going to show you how to use both the internal and external functions to do that. All right, so without too much of an introduction, let's go ahead and dive into this. Again, I'll cover a little bit of setup if you haven't seen any of these videos previously. So first off, again, you'll notice if you look at the API documentation, you'll notice that it requires you, asks you to um, require a file called wmapiclass.php. And you'll notice that I'm not doing that here. Uh, the reason that I'm not doing that is because that file is already included in the latest versions of Wishlist Member. So if you're working inside of a plugin or a theme functions file on a site that has Wishlist Member already installed, then uh, you're going to already have access to that class and the methods within it. So you don't need to require that class again. In fact, doing so would probably cause some issues. So uh, again, I'm just I have access to that class, and so you can see I'm starting off by instantiating a new instance of that class. Uh, okay, so again, that's some some of the setup. You also notice I have constants here for the API URL and API key. The reason that is is because those are to an actual site. When we do our external connection here, uh, we're connecting to an external site, not the local site that uh, this this theme functions file uh, belongs to. So that is an actual site. So I obviously don't want to show the URL and the API key here. Um, so I'm just using those, uh, put those as constants up further um, so that they're they're kind of hidden. Right, so that's a little bit about the setup. Um, now let's go ahead and dive into actually updating a membership level. So we'll start with the external uh, method for doing that. Again, as I mentioned, you start off by instantiating a new instance of the WM API class. You pass in your API URL and API key. We set the return format to PHP. And then we set up some of our arguments for our request. So the first thing is the level ID. So we need to specify what level we want to update. Now again, I'm doing this manually here and, and there will probably be cases where you do the exact same thing where you have a specific membership level that you know you want updated for, for whatever reason. Or you may be getting this level ID programmatically um, based on a having got a list of all levels previously and maybe you filtered that list or, or whatever your application happens to be doing um, you may be getting that programmatically either way is fine so here I'm just doing it manually and then next we're setting up our arguments array and this is the array of arguments that we want to change so this is the information we want updated now the name of this particular membership level right now is gold and we're going to change that name to platinum okay so we just set up an arguments array um, we specify the name and we want it to be platinum again I'll show you where you can get access to the list of uh, accepted arguments here uh, it's the same as when you create the level so if you're familiar with that you have access to all the exact same arguments when as you would when you create it through the API but again I'll show you where you can uh, get a list of, of those arguments so we're gonna change the name to platinum and then you can see right here we're actually running our response we're doing uh, using the put method we're using the level resources um, with a level ID on the end of it so essentially this is just a contentated string so essentially we're doing slash level slash and then we're doing the uh, level ID okay so that's the resource we're accessing um, so that's what this string here is and then we're you know, we have a comma and then we're going to pass in the arguments that we want changed so this is essentially going to change these specified arguments for this specified membership level then of course here we're unserializing our response and we're printing that response down here so that's gonna give us back our new information or what the uh, the information about the level after it's been updated All right so we'll go ahead and come over here to our demo site and we'll refresh this page and again this is an external request so it's a connecting to an external uh, wishlist member install so it'll take just one second so here you can see that now our name for that membership level ID is now changed to platinum and then of course we can see all of the other information for this particular membership level all of this stuff of course could be changed through the API 
So now just to kind of show you, I'll go ahead and head back over here and I'm going to change this back to gold and we'll save that. And we'll refresh this and let it connect again. And so now we're just changing it back to gold just so you can kind of see, you know, it, it, in action it was platinum and now we're changing it back to gold. And there you go. Now it's back to gold. Okay, so um, that's how you, you would use the external request method to change information about a membership level. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the internal request method. So the internal request method, of course, is going to connect to our local install. And so we have a, a different membership, obviously. The name of this membership level right now is test level 2. And we're going to change that to test level 3. Again, we're passing in the level ID and the arguments. Of course, you can see that there's a lot less code involved when you're using the internal request system. So as much as possible as you can use that, you definitely want to. It'll be less code. It's also going to run a lot faster as well. So we'll go ahead and save this, and we'll come back over here. We'll refresh this. And now you can see that it's been changed to test level three. Okay, so that, uh, again, pretty straightforward. We see all the exact same information that we do for the external request. And we'll go ahead and let change this back to test level two so you can see this one as well. Getting changed back to test level two. And there it is, change back to test level two. All right, so pretty straightforward. Again, the name of this function is WM API update level, passing the level ID and the arguments that you want changed. Now, when it comes to what arguments you can change, we'll come back over and we're gonna head to codex.wishlistproducts.com and uh, you're looking for the WM API update level Again, I'll link below the video straight to this page, but this is the documentation for this function. Um, and again, whether you're using the internal or external method, the arguments array that you create, they both accept the exact same parameters because ultimately they go to the same place. It's just a matter of how you get there that's different. So um, again, you can see you have access to essentially everything about this particular membership level. So name, registration URL, the redirects, what they can access, exp expiration, um, email confirmation, admin approval, so on and so forth. It's all there. You have example code down here you can check out. This gives you some example output. Um, but these are, these are the exact same arguments that are available when you create the level as well. Okay, So you can head on over there for a list of the different arguments that you have available. So. Again, pretty straightforward on how to update a level, so hopefully you got something out of that. Uh, again, let me know if you uh, have any questions or concerns uh, or uh, suggestions about this particular video. Also, if you have suggestions about future videos, things you'd like to learn how to do with the API, by all means, let me know in the comments um, and let me know what you thought of the video. Appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you next time.